Hey guys, join me for another video. Today I'm going to show you my current ab workout routine. So my current ab workout consists of five exercises which I perform as a circuit back to back. The exercises are really um, oblique focus, so there's three exercises which are working on twisting and crunching from the sides, so they'll target more of the obliques. Reason behind this is a personal one for me that I found that when I train uh, my abs, so my lower abs and upper abs, for etc., doing leg raises or crunches, I get like an ab pump, which looks like I've got bloated abs, which because I train for my abs to be aesthetic, to look good, like a lot of people I'm sure, yes I want them to be functional and them to be strong as well for my sports, to help me with my other lifting, but I ultimately want them to look good so that bloating didn't look good. So I worked out that training obliques framed my abs and made them look a lot better. So that's why I train them like this. So if you're the kind of person who trains abs and you almost get a bloated ab pump and you don't like how that looks this could be a really good workout for you to try equally if you don't get that and your abs look great after training this is still a good ab workout for you to try so like I said five exercises back to back no rest performed about three to five times with one or two minutes rest at the end of each round of the circuit so let's crack on and go to the first exercise okay exercise number one is a cable oblique crunch. So on this exercise I'll aim for about 20 to 30 reps on each side. I'll pick a weight that I can feel um, on my obliques but it's still challenging. If I pick a too heavy weight I found I end up pulling too much of my arm and I get a worse mind muscle connection with my obliques. Um, my key point for this exercise would be um, to try and squeeze and hold for a second at the bottom of each rep. And when you get to the bottom of each rep, try and blow all the air out your lungs. This should help get a better contraction in your abs. Now, if you don't have cables, that's fine. You can use a resistance band. Just tie up something high. The main difference, uh, unlike cables, where you have a constant tension throughout the movement, you'll get less resistance at the top and more resistance to the bottom of the movement. After this exercise, we'll go straight into exercise number two with no rest. Exercise number two is a cable wood jump. So on this exercise, I'll aim for about 20 to 25 reps. Set yourself upright, so try and create a stretch on your obliques at the start of the movement. Throughout the movement, I will have my hips facing forward, so my lower body is fixed in position, it's not twisting. The torso is doing the twisting, um, but try not to pull from your arms. At the end of the movement, breathe out and really contract the abs and the obliques. If you don't have cables, you can use a resistance band again, uh, but you will get less resistance at the start of the movement. Once you've finished your 20 to 25 reps each side, you're straight into, into exercise number three. Exercise number three is a leg extension on a bench. So yes, I did mean leg raises. Um, my brain must be going. Anyway, this exercise will target your lower abs. Key things for me, really try hard to push your lower back into the bench so you don't create an arc in your lower back. Rota rotate your hips back, squeeze and hold your abs, blowing all the air out of them. It's a much smaller movement than I think most people usually do, so don't let your legs drop too low. Exercise number four is a rope cable attachment crunch. This exercise will target the upper portion of your abs. I tend to do about 20 to 30 reps on this exercise. Try and keep your grip loose. This should help you isolate your abs and minimize pulling from your upper body. At the bottom of the movement, try and squeeze and hold for a second and blow all the air out of your lungs. Again, will help with an ab contraction. If you don't have cables, this is a very similar movement. It'll work the upper portion of your abs. Try and lift yourself up about 30 degrees. If you don't have a ball, you can just put your feet on a chair. Once you've done your 20 to 30 reps, you go straight into your fifth exercise. Exercise number five is a broomstick twist. 
So this exercise, I tend to go quite high reps, 50. I've even gone as high as 100 reps for, because it is quite easy, but you will feel this on your obliques if you keep going. Try and keep your hips facing forward and only turn your torso on this exercise. It doesn't matter about the weight on your shoulder, you can use anything, even a broom, hence the name. Now, if you don't have enough room doing this exercise, you might get an injury. Yes, I did hit my finger. Yes, that did hurt a little bit. Anyway, I'd now rest for two minutes and I'd repeat that circuit two or three times. So that rounds off my ab workout, those five exercises back to back as a circuit. Hope you enjoyed the workout. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you guys soon.